Hey, so this is a video really quick on how to clean the Venturi regulator on a Coleman road trip grill. Um, we had a barbecue on 4th of July and unfortunately one of the burners wasn't working and it was shooting out flame and it was shooting out the flame actually from underneath the system. Um, and we couldn't really solve it then. So we went ahead and took it apart, took the um, silver apron um, that collects all the grease that runs it to the grease trap off and then I started following the owner's manual and on figure 37 it says that you just unscrew this one screw and then you can take the the grill off and that obvi or that burner off and that obviously didn't work the burner is firmly attached to the grill um, I read some Amazon reviews they were like it's like 14 screws because you actually have to take off the whole stand and the bottom of the grill to access the bolts that are holding the burner on to the grill, which is good. I mean, hey, the burners stay put when you move it all the time, but um, it's bad if you need <laughs> to access the Venturi tube. So um, after talking to Coleman, they said that there could be these spider webs in the Venturi tube. So went ahead and took off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you now how this works. First step is to go ahead, and I've already done this, I just try to put it back, but you go ahead and you remove all these screws. There are, on this model, there are um, four around the side and then two in the back. So there are six screws. And once you just remove those screws, then the whole lid, um, you just pull it up, and the whole thing just comes off just like that. So you can get access to the inside. Um, see what kind of junk you've had inside. So then it should look like this. Um, you have the two burners, you have the gas coming in, and then these are your Venturi tubes um, here. And so the next step is you have to kind of push this forward and then you can get access to two screws. There's one gonna be here and one right here. And that allows you to take this part off and I think this part um, from what I understand there was some um, issues with flames actually melting the inside of this um, and so I think Coleman installed this in some of the later models to try to protect the plastic surfaces from um, flames when these venturi tube clogs happened that's my guess not for sure but um, reading a lot online that's what it seemed to happen so when you do that, it exposes these two connections. And as you can see, I went ahead and just unscrew this connection. Um, I just used a pair of vice grips because I wasn't sure what size. Went ahead and unscrewed it. Then that allows you to pop out this from the Venturi tube. And actually, when you look inside of this, I think that that's my problem. If you look really close, everything I read online so that spiders could get in there. And that looks like a spider thing or a bug thing or something. I'm going to go ahead and po poke it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and use um, a small wa uh, wire brush, like a bottle brush or a straw cleaner. And I'm going to go ahead and clean out the rest of the Venturi tube just in case there's more spider activity up in there. But basically what was happening... Um, Oop, okay, so here it is. This is what I just pulled out of there. I'm trying to get the camera to focus on it. Come on, camera. Some kind of weird bug shell thing that was fully clogging that tube. Um, it's actually pretty big. You can see this is a large pair of needle nose pliers. Um, it's actually the size of one of those burners, so um, holes. So. Hopefully that's it, but I'm, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and clean out the tube itself as well. So I have here this little straw cleaner brush. I'm going to go ahead and slide it in to the Venturi tube and spin it around. See if anything comes out. Doesn't look like it. I can actually get it up around the corner a little bit. Um... Might have been a couple little spider webs or something in there, but it doesn't look like 
Doesn't look like anything major. I think we found our clog with that uh, large bug. So I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble. So I've gone ahead and reattached um, this part and I made it hand tight. I'm just giving a little extra turn, but not too much because uh, that's brass fitting. And then I'll go ahead and reattach this screw in place. I've set it there, but I haven't fully attached it. By the way, you don't need to take that screw off, even though in the manual it says that's how you take the burner off. Don't do it. It just uh, is the attachment for the little piezo lighting fixture. Um, you don't really need to mess with it or take it off at all to do this cleaning job. So skip that step as indicated by the manual. Go ahead and ignore it. Okay, so I have it put back together. We tested it um, before I went ahead and put it back together. The gas is hooked up. Now we can get a nice high flame and turn it down to a nice blue flame on both sides now. There's the right side, there's the left side. So that's how you clean the Venturi tube on a Coleman road trip grill. Hope that helps somebody.